an acetate disc, also known as a test acetate, dub plate, lacquer, transcription disc or instantaneous disc, is a type of phonograph record, a mechanical sound storage medium, widely used from the 1930s to the late 1950s for recording and broadcast purposes and still in limited use today. Unlike ordinary vinyl records, which are quickly formed from lumps of plastic by a mass production molding process, a so-called acetate disc is created by using a recording lathe to cut an audio signal modulated groove into the surface of a special lacquer coated blank disc, a real-time operation requiring expensive, delicate equipment and expert skill for good results. They are made for special purposes, almost never for sale to the general public. They can be played on any normal record player but will suffer from wear more quickly than vinyl. Some acetates are highly prized for their rarity, especially when they contain unpublished material. Acetates are usually made by dubbing from a master recording in another medium, such as magnetic tape. In the vinyl record manufacturing process, an acetate master disc is cut and electroforming is used to make negative metal molds from it. Each mold, known as a stamper, can be used to press thousands of vinyl copies of the master. Within the vinyl record industry, acetates are also used for evaluating the quality of the tape to disc transfer. They were once a favored medium for comparing different takes or mixes of a recording, and if pressed vinyl copies of an impending new release were not yet available, acetates were used for getting preview copies into the hands of important radio disc jockeys. Physical characteristics Although once produced in a wide range of sizes and sometimes with glass core discs, the examples most commonly encountered today are 10, 12, or 14 inches in diameter and consist of an aluminum core disc coated with black nitrocellulose lacquer, commonly but incorrectly called acetate. The term acetate derives from the material used in examples cut before 1934, when the substrate was in fact cellulose acetate. Cellulose acetate was only in use for a short while, but the name acetate for these discs persisted. Blank discs were traditionally produced in several different grades, with the best and costliest grade featuring the sturdiest core, the thickest coating and the most perfectly flawless mirror-like surfaces. These top-quality blanks were intended for cutting the master discs that, once silver-coated, would be electro-deposited with nickel in order to electro-form parts used in making stampers for pressing ordinary records. Lower quality blanks were considered adequate for non-critical uses such as tests and demo discs. Lower grade blanks were formerly made for home use by amateurs and may be very thin and flexible, may have a cardboard rather than a metal or glass base, and may have noticeably dull or slightly orange peel textured surfaces. In addition to the usual central spindle hole with these lower quality dubs, there is traditionally at least one drive hole in the label area, meant to be engaged by a special pin that prevents the disc from slipping on the turntable during the recording process on lathes that don't have a vacuum turntable. Drive holes are often hidden by labels applied after the recording was cut, but they can usually be detected by careful inspection of the label or by holding the disc up to a light bright enough to penetrate the labels. Such holes are not present in lacquer master so euro only dubs. The second hole would interfere with the electroforming process done to master lacquers. Professional mastering lathes use vacuum turntables that hold the workpiece in place with suction. One pump usually provides suction for both the turntable and the chip tube that pulls away the fine string of lacquer removed by the groove cutting stylus. Uses Acetates have not always been used solely as a means of evaluating a tape to disc transfer or cutting the final master disc. They were widely used for many purposes before magnetic tape recorders became common, and in the modern era they are used by dance music DJs. They were used extensively in Jamaica by sound system operators in the late 1940s and 1950s. Acetates were often used as demos of new recordings by artists and record labels. Equals recording equals, before the introduction of magnetic tape for mastering, disc recording was done live, although sometimes intermediate disc-to-disc -disc editing procedures were involved. Before acetate discs were adopted for the purpose, the master recording was cut into a disc of wax-like material that was too soft to be played non-destructively and had to be electroplated to produce a metal stamper, which was in turn used to make playable pressings. 
acetate blanks allowed high-quality playable records to be produced instantaneously. Acetates were widely used in radio broadcasting to archive live broadcasts, pre-record local programming, and delay network feeds for broadcast at a later time. 16-inch discs recorded at 33 rpm were used for these one-off electrical transcriptions beginning in the mid-1930s. Around 1940, disc recorders designed for amateur home use began appearing on the market, but their high prices limited sales and then World War II brought their production to a halt. After the war, the popularity of such recorders greatly increased. Countless discs were cut at parties and family gatherings, both for immediate amusement value and to preserve audio snapshots of these events and of the voices of relatives and friends. Schoolchildren and adults alike used them to practice speeches, amateur musical efforts were immortalized, and snippets of radio broadcasts were captured, all limited by the three or four minute maximum playing time of the 78 RPM's large groove format which was still standard for all home use records. During the early tape era, Acetate discs and portable disc recorders competed with magnetic tape as a location recording medium, both for broadcast and semi-pro use. Acetate discs inherently are less durable than magnetic tape, and have the disadvantage of not being physically editable or euro unlike tape, they can't be cut and spliced. Equals disc mastering equals, in preparation for a record pressing, acetates are used for quality control prior to the production of the stampers from which retail copies of the record will be pressed. The purpose of the test acetate, S, in the mastering process is to allow the artist, producer, engineer, and other interested parties to check the quality of the tape-to-disc recording process and make any necessary changes to ensure that the audio fidelity of the master disc will be as close as possible to that of the original master tape. The actual stampers can be made either from normal acetates, or from a DMM disc equals dance music equals. In the dance music world, DJs cut new or otherwise special tracks on acetates, in order to test crowd response and find potential hits. This practice started as early as in the 1960s in Jamaica, between so-called sound systems, as a way of competing and drawing bigger crowds. These discs are known as dub plates. But the word dub plate can interchangeably mean an actual disc or just a music recording, which can be on any other medium. Dub plates were used by reggae sound systems worldwide, and later adopted by producers of various dance music genres, most notably drum and bass and dubstep. Trading dub plates between different DJs is an important part of DJ culture. Actual acetate dub plates are declining in popularity, and being increasingly replaced by CDs and vinyl emulation software because of weight, durability and overall cost. Material and packaging, despite their name, professional grade acetate discs do not contain any acetate. They consist of an aluminum disc with a coating of nitrocellulose lacquer. Glass was often used for the substrate during World War II, when aluminum was in short supply. The production process results in a disc that is different in several ways from the vinyl records sold to customers at retail. Most noticeably, Vinyl records are comparatively lightweight and flexible, while acetates are usually rigid and considerably heavier because of their metal cores. Acetates commonly come in two sizes, 10 inches discs for singles and 14 discs for albums. The record sleeve is typically nothing more than a generic cover from the manufacturing company and the disc's label is similarly plain, containing only basic information about the content, which is usually typed but may be handwritten. Value. Due to their rarity, some acetates can command high prices at auction. Brian Epstein's collection of Beatles acetates fetch between $1,000 and $10,000 per disc. An acetate from the Velvet Underground, containing music that would later appear on their first album, The Velvet Underground on Nico, sold on eBay in 2006 for $25,200. An acetate of Elvis Presley's That's All Right sold for $82,393.60 in 2013. Elvis Presley's first record in Euro an acetate disc from 1953 featuring My Happiness backed with That's When Your Heart Aches Begin a Euro sold for $300,000 at a Grassland auction. See also, Fauna Post a Euro A service offering recordings by mail using acetate discs. References